Hello, my name is Nick from Tetronaut Magazine, and today we have Chris Brenna. We're going to do a little interview with this guy before he does his DJ set. How you doing? I'm good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. And let's see, let's go ahead and start this off with, uh, let's see, how are you liking spinning sets at various clubs? Uh, I love it. <laughs> uh, I, I hadn't really DJed before until just a couple years ago, mm -hmm. and I uh, started doing a couple after parties when we were on tour with Manson. And I spent so many years sitting in the recording studio making songs, producing, and whatnot that I, you kind of sometimes lose focus of just like enjoying music, which is supposed to be the whole reason why we're all here doing this. That's and why we're all here, yeah. So <laughs> it, it, it was just a way to go have fun and like get back to like just, you know have drinks, play music, mm -hmm. watch people dance, like and forgetting about like editing kick drum samples or uh, fixing people's vocal tunings and, and arrangement issues and you know all the all that stuff that you do for 12 to 16 hours a day yeah yeah yeah, so, yeah. it was it's good and it's really kind of made me it's, it's just a way to become a fan of music good again. so you get a lot of positive energy when you're hanging out with your fans and all that i do i do uh, we came and hung out here last night on a night off and had mm. a blast how's the hangover so I've been warned about this place, so I kept it, I kept it under control, and uh, wasn't hung over at all. Oh, good. Yeah. What song is it that you absolutely have to play in your set list? Oh, the knife, Silent Shout. Oh, I love the knife. It's my favorite song. I have like ever. I usually play that. I also there's a couple of uh, old I don't like the drugs remixes by Manson mm. that I just I, that I love playing and I, I just have to play. I kind of mix it up too, just because I'm old and I've been doing this forever and I've been in all these fortunate enough to be in all these like bands that happen oh, to do darn. really well um, you know there's a certain kind of historical element I guess to my set slightly mm -hmm. so you know throwing sin remakes I just you know things from my career um, along with new stuff so it's not all it's usually sometimes industrial or anything right but, but sometimes but you sneak in something that I, hasn't oh, been played yeah. yet yeah I, I, oh yeah I'll be playing a lot of unreleased stuff tonight for sure because I just finished like a couple productions and a few remixes mm -hmm. and I just delivered my tweaker record uh, the day before I flew up here to Metropolis perfect um, so I'll be spinning one track from that too so yeah I, there'll be a lot of just what the hell is that <laughs> aside from DJ sets uh, are there any current projects or remixes or game scores uh, oh boy let's see now you can well, mention I just, tweaker I just, I just like I said I just delivered tweaker the day before I flew up here for this uh, little five days, mm -hmm. and uh, so it's done. It'll be out in the fall. Cool. Uh, I don't know the exact date yet. I mean, I mean, I just turned it in and got on a plane, so mm -hmm. I know Metropolis got it. And they said they loved it. So, so sort of a horror movie when I get back because I'm I'm, I'm kind of after I quit bands in last fall, mm -hmm. kind of shifting back into being a little more creative and, and not just fixing other shit. Yeah. Uh, so like I wanted to get back into scoring, which I kind of dropped for several years. Mm -hmm. I spent so many years on tour. Yeah. And um, you know. And the I, action music starts. <laughs> and um, so I got a score waiting, and I've got two new projects that I'm working on: Pony Grinder and the Lollipop Guild. Those are my two, my two new bands. Yes. So I'm, I, I've, yeah, already, I've already wrote two new songs. For, for Lollipop Guild, so. Oh, good. Are you going to be playing Lollipop Guild tonight? I'm not tonight. No, they're not ready to be played. I know. It's a little It's a little more... I don't know what I... I people touch, people are telling me it's like house, but mm. with a little slight, a little bit more edge on it, and I'm like, I wouldn't really know what that means, but I guess it's... Yeah, it'd work here. It's, but it's, it, would, it probably would, actually. It's, mm -hmm. So I'm just like, so I'm just getting going on all that stuff. Yeah. And I may actually take a few days off next week. When I am. Good, do it. Yeah, have, you need to I haven't taken time off. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's sexy. Like, Alice has always been my main favorite game of all time, and, like, your soundtrack just... It's still one of my favorite Thanks. soundtracks. Thank you. Yeah, I get a lot of comments on that one. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's one of my... I mean, it's one of my, it's one of my proudest things. Because it was probably, like, one of the only... It was honestly one of the only video games in, like, the year 2000 that was actually, like, just ahead of its time. Voice acting, animation, yeah. gameplay, music, and everything. It just fit. It, it was, so, it was cool. like, I usually awesome. play like the first two, I load up two decks, and then I have like mm. my third one ready to play, my third song ready to go. Yep. And then that's about as far as I even want to think about it until I've had two, and then a couple you just of improvise. drinks, and then I just improvise and just see how it goes. Because if you start playing it out too much, and then you get stuck in it, and mm. I mean, it feels stiff and. You can tell when someone's just throwing it out there and just going with what's going, and it's yeah. fun. I mean, that's what it should be. 
Who is your biggest influence? Uh, it could be anything from like uh, music, art, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and all time favorite band or musician. Well, I'm, I'm very influenced by fine art. Uh, the Tweaker Records have always, mm -hmm. you know, the first two are Joe Soren uh, artists. Yep. I, I, I still collect art. As far as like favorite bands, man, that's a hard thing. It's you can, but in no particular order, Rush and Depeche Mode. Neil Peart is your drummer. Awesome. You have to just worship Rush. I mean, comes with the job. Yeah, the record just came out like last month. Yes, awesome. It's like is one it? of my favorite ones I've done in years. It's genius. Yeah, I was actually digging it's, on Vapor Trails. I haven't heard that before, and I heard it. Heavy. It was just, yeah, I saw that amazing. tour, and uh, so I'm gonna try to go see this one. Yeah, but like Depeche Mode and like that early, you know, like the early synth pop stuff. Yeah. When as soon as Simmons Electronic Drums came out, I. Yeah, I, I, I went and mowed grass for a whole summer and saved up money and yeah. you know painted my neighbor's houses so I could get money to buy a Simmons kit. Oh, when I was 16 or 15 somewhere in there, and because uh, I just loved the idea of playing something that didn't have to sound like anything, mm. could sound like whatever Let's you see. wanted. So. Uh, what VST? Uh, what's your favorite VST? That VST, you've been using? Uh, yeah. like plugin, synth, mm -hmm. uh, soft sense. Yep. Man, I uh, God, they're also freaking good. Silent is maybe my favorite. Silent for synth, uh, Trillion for bass. Um, I'm a huge BFDF expansion guy with Geist and all that stuff. I love their drum stuff. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you know, battery. I, there's just so many good ones now. But I, I still keep, I have a whole wall of hardware and I still use the hardware every day. It's oh, just, that's cool. It just, it's, it sucks like you'd be watching like, you know, Law & Order SVU and then there's just like some Toyota commercial on it. I'm like, I know that loop. I know what reason patch that is. <laughs> I know that, you know, and it's just like, it's cool that everybody has like access to this You're technology, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's just like, fuck it. It's like everybody just said preset two preset, and, yep. and it all sounds like a car commercial. Yep. And so being constantly aware of that. And like, if I start recognizing it on TV, I'm like, oh God. Mm -hmm. But um, so I, been I more like so I don't I will never let hard. Yeah, I, I, don't, I use Reason as a live tool more than I do. Like I was using a live with for Manson when I was the keyboard player. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it was really cool. You could set up all the like sub, like set the splits with subtractor, and then you have a couple of different samplers and yep. routing under the delays and distortions, and, and have it all mapped. And it's and the loading is ridiculously fast. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Like, That's you, why I like you it. You can load up. I would just load one bang, like you know, for your one song after one song. One, one song, song, and they're all song. loaded up. Yep. And the, when you just close the window, and the next, next song, song two is on top. top. From Siege Harris. Uh, Siege. Yep, hi Siege. Uh, she uh, writes, what advice can you give to artists trying to be heard? Wow. <sighs> That's a hard one. Man, you, it's just coming out the gate strong. It, it, I think more like personal interaction. Everyone seems to have like just kind of like, well, if you just put make a Facebook page and tell your friends to like it, you'll get discovered. And it's like, eh. It's, it, it's a misnomer that you can just tweet shit and the world is listening. I, I don't really do much of that social media stuff. I mean, I'm supposed to, but um, but just you know, performing and, and, and being seen and then like making face-to-face -face contacts, you know, and then spreading it that way. Like I've been handed two or three CDs on this trip already by different people. And, you know, I can't wait to take them home and listen to them. And I always, I mean, you know, it's like that's that means more. Like I, I don't really have time to search. 300 million people on Facebook to find like my favorite new electronic band. I, it's, yeah, I mean it's, it's really difficult. So that's what I would do. Uh, how is your creative process different while working on other other people's projects? Wow, uh, that's a good question. It it's uh well it, I mean everything's different whether it's a remix or whether it's uh, a production. I mean if it's a remix, the, the song's already written and produced. Yeah. So it's just basically you're you're kind of locked into a chord structure or a key. And, and um, and it, it, it's like using one part of the brain and just have a lot of fun with with with, with the you know, the, the fun part is just like kind of remaking a song. Yeah. The hard part is just coming up with it the first time and writing it, and, you know, whatever. Yeah. But depending on you know, with working with like with band, like I I, I still believe I believe heavily in pre-production, like for real. Uh, it's like everything studios, everything just costs so much money. I mean, it's just about preparation and time management more than anything. Yeah. So it's just like you just have to like I, I I'm pretty rigid 
I'm a, I'm a notebook guy. Yeah. So when I work with people and see what they need and then see what they're capable of and how I can help fill in those, those little gaps and whatnot. Uh, let's see. I heard your new Tweaker album is almost completed. Any vocalists on it you can mention? So it's not as guest heavy as like the second mm. album. Uh, it got a little too far cool. guest yeah. heavy, and uh, I just kind of wanted to back off of that. But they're, they're still, it's it's good. It's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a, it's a very sad goodbye letter. Is what the last record is. Uh, it's gonna be the last one probably under the name Tweaker for for some time, if okay. maybe forever. You heard it here first. So it first. It's, it's, a, it's yeah. So it's it's. Fucking depressing album. Okay, from Seattle <laughs> Geeky Girls. Uh, besides contributing music to a lot of great video games, including Alice and Quake, are there any other geeky activities that you enjoy? I, yeah, I'm a movie and I'm a TV junkie because I because I have my, of, of scoring. Yeah. yeah my, and I want to get more and more into it. And there's just so much good, like television especially has just gotten amazing. So yeah. I'm kind of a like I'm kind of a TV junkie. Oh my god! Wait a minute. Tomorrow Sunday, right? Breaking yes. Bad starts tomorrow night. Fuck yeah! Last season, yeah, man. Did you see the end? Of, did you ever watch that show? No, uh, I need to. Teacher who's dying becomes a meth cook. Holy yeah. crap, it's amazing. Yeah. But there's some. I mean, Walking Dead, yep. the Blood. I mean, just, I just, I, just the list goes on. All right. So, uh, I heard you toured with Manson. Yeah, once, or, once, yeah, or, once, or, or, once or twice. <laughs> no big deal. Uh, any crazy stories? Well, let's see. I joined the band in uh, 2004 after Ginger fell off the stage and. Germany got hurt. I was brought in to fill in for six weeks to do the Greatest Hits tour, the Against All Gods, and I was in the band until Christmas when I quit, or Thanksgiving I quit just this past Thanksgiving. So, yeah. so let's see. 2004 Tuesday, May. Well, I mean, we can do. Yeah, every day is a crazy day. I mean, it's just yeah. fucking answer. It's, it took its toll on me. I, I'm not gonna lie, man. But we. You know, we did two, two, two records together that I co-produced and, and did all the drums, programming, and engineering, et cetera, et cetera. It's just, uh, the, the, his lifestyle is just, it's just, you know, it just takes a, it takes a toll on you. And, and I, I was so busy with that, with, with them that I, I, so many, I mean, I have to, I have to turn down everything I've offered. And I just, yeah. after that record, I just kind of figured I'd done all I can really do for him, so. I really wanted to get back to do my other shit. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's all. It's pretty much no hard feelings, just kind of moving on. Why, fuck no. Why, you know, just, yeah. Yeah, it's just, you know. That's cool. Uh, but, you know, we had some, we, man, we had some fun. Like, man. There's always chaos going around, like when we did the video with Shia LaBeouf when he was over, and uh, Naveen Andrews from, uh, we would jam with Naveen from Lost. Those guys were huge Lost fans. And oh, nice. And ended up befriending Naveen, like, we do these jam nights, they'd come over and we'd all like just like jam and Manson's uh why he's got this like looks at a lock thing above the liquor store. So we just jam and I mean but it was like I'm always I'm still the one sitting in the computer, so half the time I'm like, there'd be the most insane shit going on on the other side of the door and it's to take a I'm doing anything. I'm like, what the hell is going on out of here? Like, what am I <laughs> and I'm like you know, like, alright, bubble's ready, you wanna check it out? And, you know, start yeah. doing doubles and comps and stuff, you know what I mean? So it's it's yeah, 24 7, 365. Yeah. Time to, Time to dance. Chris, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Let's go get knackered. Yeah. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye.